But I think for right now, I'm going to stick with Faithful. Okay, so going back to where we were before. Let's go back down. Dude, this is insane, this weapon. Oh, yes! <laughs> yep, it does the damage from the swing, and then it also does the damage from the spike. That is too freaking good, dude. Too good. Oh! Oh, yes! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Boom! Dual shock for battery level low. What? Alright. Oh my god, it's so good. This weapon is so good. <laughs> okay. Alright, so yeah, this isn't open yet. We'll have to come back to that. Alright, let's make a checkpoint here. We're not going to bank the experience yet. And let's talk to Kazla. Good. You've made it this far. I was worried. But I guess the scythe just couldn't keep up. No, the scythe is now in my hands. <laughs> I've faced worse. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Oh, look in. who it is. Kazlo. Meet Yetka. She's looking for... whatever she's trying to find. You don't know the half of it, Harkin. I can see you've picked up a monk. The last one I met, I dumped. <laughs> Charming. You know how to break ice in conversation, don't you? You know what? While we have a dialogue choice here, let me switch controllers real fast. Okay, there we go. I got my other controller. Um, yeah, okay, let me yeah, guess. Come. You have business here. Let me guess. You have business here. Miss this? Not a chance. There's a wealth of buried treasure over there, and I intend to take my share. What's on the other side of the pathway? What's on the other side of the pathway? It separates our world from the Rogar realm. It leads to an abandoned temple that once belonged to humans. The Rogar are attacking from there, and Tanus bade me go there and do whatever is in my power to stop the Rogar invasion. How will this lead us to Antanus? It won't. Not yet. The first thing we need to do is to make the area safe. And when I say we, I mean you. These injuries would make me more of a hindrance than asset to our cause. I work better alone anyway. Enter the pathway now, Harkin. Find a way to stop the Rogar Lords. Only once they're stopped, we can meet with Antanas. Okay. So we open the pathway. Destroy the Lord's Gate to Keystone. Find a way to make Lords unable to travel through dimensions. And so that's what we gotta do here. Harkin, what is taking you so long? Okay, well, let's go through. It's a whole other world. Wow, they went through and this familiar, is on the other side. Like a child's memory. It's okay. twisted, broken. So basically, Rabbit, that I really know you missed the beginning of this game, but this how the, the game explained it was... Well, never mind. Off to get some treasure. <laughs> Find his how the game explained it was, as you kill enemies, you get experience. The more enemies you kill, the more experience you get. Ah, trophy here. Nice. The real lord starts here. The more enemies you kill, the more experience you get, and therefore the better loot the better loot you get, better uh, drops from enemies. At any of those red crystals, I can make a checkpoint, which I've been doing, in case I die, I start back at that red crystal again, the last red crystal that I activate. And at those red crystals, I can also cash in my experience 
for either attribute points or spell points. If I don't cash my experience in, like for example right now it says current experience 1906 right underneath my character there. If I don't cash in my experience, right, then um, then I continue to get more and more per kill and I get better drop rates. If I do cash in my experience and level up, then the, the drop rate modifier and experience modifier resets and I start from scratch again and I have to rebuild it back up again. So the longer, it's like a trade off, it's like a risk reward system. The longer I go staying alive and not using my experience, the, the more experience I'm going to get and the better items I'll get as I kill enemies. If I cash it in, then I can level up and stuff, but then the drop and experience modifier resets and I have to build it back up again. Yeah, it's a really cool system. It's like a risk reward system that you have to kind of like determine how you want to how you want to play. By the way, over here where it says Clawfinger, Great Axe, it says um, right there, one hand heavy attack creates a demonic scythe. So what does it say on the shield then? Whoa, 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 whoa. Special move enhanced with projectiles. Okay, but I need 15 strength to do that special move. So, yeah. Yeah, see? Okay. I just wanted to see what that sword looked like. Alright. So yeah, we're definitely sticking with the with the scythe. Destroy the Lord's Gate to Keystone. looking around here I don't want to miss anything what the hell is that is that an enemy I can't target him Idiots. oh it's not an enemy okay he took his leaden sword in hand you can speak as can you imagine my surprise he's got a cool freaking he's got a cool voice oh a crafter what are you? This is absurd. What are you doing here? What are you? What are you? I don't know. I do not abide the mortal laws. I left the realm of men a hundred lifetimes ago. I do not have a name. I don't remember it. And it does not matter here. You left the realm of men? From the moment the universes were born, they began to die. It's inevitable. Nothing stays the same. Even you are changing in this moment, right in front of me, and I in front of you. He's got a really cool voice. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Something is searching for me. Something of high value. It will arrive by and by. What do you mean? It will come when the Rogar go. The Rogar are not leaving any time soon. Coming and going, going and coming. It makes no difference to me. What is this precious thing you seek? It is a crystal, a very special crystal. A crystal that can rend a tear between the realms. A tear powerful enough to distort I like other it too, ruptures. Rabbit. The Rogar could be using that crystal to enter our world. You will find the crystal itself in the place of power. A place where all energy gathers. Take it away, and the Rogar Lords will travel no more. Then, bring it back to me. Yes. Are you a smith? These tools. Are you a smith of some sort? In some ways, yes. You could say so. I do have dealings with weapons and the like. Craft something for me. You ask me for a glass of water, <laughs> and I could give you the ocean. Give me the ocean then. Show me one of your runes, and with this rune, you can imbue any weapon you like. Ah, okay, here we go. We got a tutorial now. Trophy earned. He speaks in riddles. Awesome. Seal breaking and equip runes. 
This is the page for breaking sealed runes. So basically, it's like the identify system in Diablo. You get an un un unidentified item. You had to take it to Cain, and he'll identify it for you, so then you can use it. Okay, this is the page for, page for breaking sealed runes. You can select the type of sealed rune you want to break using left and right. After you make your selection, you can bet gained experience. Really, to increase your chance of getting higher quality use, runes using R2. Oh my god, look at that. Once you're happy with your choice, hold X to break the sealed rune. Wow. Okay. The more XP you are investing, the better your chances are that runes are of higher quality. Get the heck out of here. The runes you got from breaking their seals are displayed here. Detailed information about the rune currently selected is displayed here based on the item type that the rune is socketed into. Different effects apply. Wow. That was a quote and a half. Ask me for a glass of water, I could give you the ocean. He's like, give me the ocean then. That's crazy. Okay. So... Small runes and big runes. And then I can equip runes here. Okay, well the only thing... What what has sockets that I'm wearing right now? Does anything even have sockets in it? Oh yeah, there it... There's a... Okay, there's a socket in the kite shield. There's not a socket in any of the items I'm currently wearing though, is there? Oh yeah, there's a socket in the gauntlet. Okay. Okay, okay. By setting the gauntlet to launch fast projectiles, you can use it as a rap rapid fire magical weapon, but it's possible to customize it further. Okay. You just want to hang out with the <laughs> with the Smithy the rest of the stream? Um Oh, my chest armor. Or my helmet, I'm sorry, my helmet. My helmet has a socket in it as well right now. Okay. Alright, so how about this? Let's oops. I just exited. Hold on. I don't want to do that. What do runes say when they speak to you? Tell me about dimension travels. Tell me more about your dimension traveling. It would take a thousand years to explain. Give me the short version. Short version would involve me not being human anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Crap. I like this dude. I like this dude a lot. Okay, so we're going to do a small rune or a big rune. I only have three big runes. Wow. I can invest up to a thousand experience in a big rune. Or up to 500 in one of my small ones. I have 19 small runes. Damn. Alright, let's do a big rune. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. But I can invest experience if I want. Yeah, look. Well, why don't I just... Just to test it out. Let's unlock a big rune with maximum experience and see what happens. I got a flawless magic rune. It's an orange one. Damn it, again I hold on. We meet again. So let's see, what happens if I put that in my helmet? Because I'm wearing my helmet right now. Can I sock it? Here we go, flawless magic rune. What does it do? Oh, it gives me more magic defense bonus. Okay. Alright, before I do that. Let's see what happens if I put it in the gauntlet. Temporarily sends the target into dimensional breach. A passive shell remains. What? Let's put that freaking thing in. Yes, please. Alright, I got a flawless magic rune in there. It's going to send the target into a dimensional breach. What the hell? That's crazy. Okay, okay. Um, That's going to be cool. Wait a minute, there is a, a, there's two sockets in my chest. Holy crap, okay. There's two sockets in my chest. Alright, so we gotta, I keep backing all the way out. We meet again. Gauntlet hype, yep. <laughs> Definitely gauntlet hype. Alright, so, let's do, I got two more big runes, so I guess let's just, I have a, what do I have, 906? So I can put, I can put 500, oh no, that's a small rune, wait, we want to, damn it, we want a big rune, alright. So let's do 500 into 1, we'll leave, we'll leave, yeah, hold on. Let's leave 500 to do, 
But yeah, we'll leave 554 to do the, the next big rune. Alright, let's do another big rune. Flawless fire rune, nice. Okay, and we'll do one more. We'll invest all 554 into it. Another flawless fire rune. Okay, so let's see what happens if I put in my chest. It gives me fire defense bonus. Okay, what happens if I put it in the gauntlet? Sets enemies on fire on impact. Okay. Let's keep the dimensional vortex because that's pretty freaking sweet. Um, what happens if I put it in my helmet? Fire defense bonus again. Okay. Alright, so let's... Uh, Let's put the two fire runes in my chest then. Boom. Alright. Fire defense bonus plus 10. Nice. It's good that you can switch items out of armor and stuff. Like switch runes out of armor and stuff like that on the fly. Alright, cool. Well, find a way to make lords unable to travel through dimensions. I could send them to a different dimension with my gauntlet now, apparently. Let's see what happens here when I fire it. Whoops. There we go. Wow, look at the gauntlet. Does the gauntlet look different to you? Maybe not. Okay. Is this going to look any different now? Oh, it does. It, it's purple now. Okay. Well, we have to see. It might be just me, but I think that used a lot more magic. As you can see, that the magic now is like... I think it used half of my energy, half of my magic when I shot it. Didn't the smithy want to ruin the smith for you? He did. He did want to ruin. He wanted a specific type of rune, but I don't know. You know what? I could unlock a small rune. Let's unlock a small rune, and I don't have any experience to, to put into it, though. Lesser poison rune. Okay. Lesser magic. Lesser power rune. Okay. You know, let's see what all these are. Alright, let's... There we go, that's good for now. Let's keep 13 of them just in case I have to put them in chests to open up more chests. But now I can equip, let's see what happens if I equip other stuff. Um, poison defense bonus. Alright, so it's all like defense bonuses. Power rune is physical defense bonus. I actually kind of want that. Let's do a power rune and a flawless fire rune. And then in my, in my helmet... Magic, poison, or fire. In my helmet, let's do magic defense bonus. Okay. And what are the changes in the gauntlet? Sets enemies on fire. Poisons the target, slowing it down and draining its health. That's awesome. Okay. What would the... Okay. All right, well, everything's socketed now. They can be socketed that I have on me. So... I can't give him one. I can't give him a rune, rabbit. We you see, it just says craft or leave. I can't, like, give him one. Alright. You saw another empty socket? What? What had an empty socket in it? We That has the magic rune in it. That has the power and fire runes in it. The gauntlet has the magic rune in it. That shield I'm not using. Those weapons I'm not using. Yep, that's it. We're good. We're good, rabbit. Okay. Well, that's pretty awesome, but before we continue onward, I actually am going to save now, and uh, we are going to end the stream because my wife and I are actually going to watch a show in just a little bit, and I want to make sure I have time to get ready for that. So um, I'm just going to run back to that checkpoint system, make a checkpoint, and then tomorrow morning... I will be continuing on from where we left off for uh, just a little bit to see. Yeah.
Let's go back to that checkpoint. Yeah, maybe it was an unequipped item. But my character just got crazy powerful now. I can like send enemies to different freaking dimensions with my gauntlet. It is intense, dude. This game is so intense. I know, Rabbit. I'm sorry I gotta leave you, man. But listen, Rabbit, if you want to catch up on where we are right now, go go check out my YouTube. Check out all the other parts. I got parts 1 through 9 on there. Um, this will be... Or I'm sorry, parts 1 through 10. This entire stream is going to be parts 11, 12, 13, however many parts I make out of it. But um, check out my YouTube. I have all the videos titled with different titles. All right, let's see really quickly. Let's try to send an enemy into another dimension here. Where was that enemy I just saw? Yeah, here we go. Alright, Rabbit, this one's for you, man. This one's for you, Rabbit. Damn! He's totally wiped out. Look at that. Oh, never mind. It didn't totally wipe him out. Now, what's the point of that? I can't do anything. Like, I can't kill him or anything. Look. It just kind of lets him sit there. Huh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, dude, I don't like that. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna have to change that. It basically just freezes them, but there's no point in that. It doesn't damage them anymore. It just freezes them. We're going to have to go back to the smithy and change that out next next time I play. Because I can't... I can't just freeze them. Yeah, it buys you time to... What the hell? Buys you time to run past, I guess, yeah. <laughs> so crazy, okay. Alright, let's see. Boom. Alrighty. Well. Rabbit, thank you for watching on stream tonight. Tonight. Um, go check out my YouTube, and uh, you'll be able to check out the rest of the game and tomorrow morning I'll be continuing so thank you guys so much for watching rabbit you're the man everybody else if you're watching this on YouTube thank you and then uh, I'll see you all later have a good one everyone